Christian fail. The number one thing you cannot do in 2023 is to leave God out. Mm-hmm. Say it to- again for the people in the back. <laughs> Listen, the number one thing you cannot do in the year 2023 is to leave God out. Amen. You know, I, th- I think uh, oftentimes um, we have great expectations. Uh, we have great ambitions. Uh, you know, I know that word amb- ambitions is not even in the word of God, but we have all of these plans and we say what we're going to do. And, and, you know, we're going to do this in month two. We're going to do this in February. We're going to do this in March and all these other things. But how many of us really are spirit led with these things? Because a thought and, and, I, and I believe that a lot of us or a lot of people and you may not be guilty of this, but I know that oftentimes people are led by their emotions and instead of leading their emotions, you know, you should guard your heart and you should not lead with your heart you should lead your heart in the direction it should go all right and the direction it should go is in the direction of the lord wherever the lord is leading you not where your flesh is leading you but i think some of and sometimes we need to reassess why we even have these goals why do we even want to do this why do we even want to accomplish this like listen i want to get to ten thousand subscribers pretty soon but at the same time I want to assess why do I want to get to 10,000 subscribers? Do I want to get to 10,000 subscribers because we'll make, you know, a little bit more money? Uh, Or do I want to get to 10,000 subscribers because I want to reach more people for the sake of Christ? It's a heart check. It's a heart check. Mm -hmm. It's a heart check. And I think, I think oftentimes a lot of people start off with good intentions where we talked about it some of the worst things in history have been uh have been done with good intentions but i think oftentimes we may start off good but we end up leaving god out of the equation and and all of your getting this year make sure that you don't leave god out of all of your planning anything the bible says that anything you do you need to do it unto the lord and all of you do that means in the listen i know a lot of y'all ain't gonna like this that means in the voting booth as we just got out of november uh that means it in school that means on your job uh that means in your household and that definitely and that means in church in everything that you do do it unto the lord do it in the spirit of excellence all right because we serve a risen savior who is excellent don't leave God out. What do, what do you have to say on that? You said it. You said it all, literally. Um, anytime we do not have God, you're going to have chaos. God is a God of order. And it's like, how can you fly without consulting the um, air with the air traffic controller? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta listen. He's our creator. And so he's the director of our lives. So if you're trying to move, maneuver through this life without consulting the script which is the word of god and and listening to the, what the director is telling us then then your movie's just gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be off yeah. <laughs> it's just gonna be off and so it's very important that we consult with daddy you know he is the one that made us and he knows he knows what it is that he has for us the purpose that he has for us and so there's no way that we're going to um reach those goals without first of all checking in with him and making sure like we're like you said or like we said earlier doing the Mm -hmm. heart checks and making sure that we're on the right path and so um keep god first keep god first yeah you know yeah exactly keep him first and that's why i forget the scripture but seek ye first the kingdom of god 633 633 Uh seek ye first the kingdom of god and now keep in mind <laughs> there's another word that they they leave out a lot of people like to leave out it says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness mm-hmm. and his righteousness not just the tangible you know the kingdom of god all right 
seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So in other words, there's a righteousness you need to put on. All right. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. So don't get so enamored with the thing. Don't get so caught up in the task and like, wait a minute. Um, shout out to Proverbs, brother. We appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, my brother. We really do appreciate that from up top in New York City. We appreciate you, brother. Um, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Grandma Joe, I'm going to connect with you. Uh, I will connect with you via email. But listen, y'all, in all of your getting, get Jesus. Don't listen. Don't leave him out of the equation. Like, because that you know, the enemy is so crafty. We can we can call ourselves being busy with God's work and leave mm. God all out of it. Wow. We, we like like we can say, you know what? Oh, you know, I, look, since we're on YouTube, we'll just take YouTube as an example. Well, we got this YouTube channel, you know, we you know that Christian fam, we it's unto the Lord. But wait a minute, is Christ in it? Is he in it? Are you still consulting with him before you make videos? Before you edit a video, are you are you before you make a thumbnail? Do you do you do you consult with him? D is there a reason now? Keep in mind the thumbnails, they gravitation and all this other stuff. We got it. But did you spend time with the master before you did what you did? All I'm saying is listen, we can be as gung-ho as we want to be with things. But one thing we cannot leave out in 2023 is God. We yeah. cannot leave him out. Jesus Christ specifically, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We cannot leave the Trinity out. And that's something else, too, that I thought about. You know how you have those bumper stickers that talk about Jesus is my co-pilot? Yeah. I'm like, no, nah, I don't want him to be my co-pilot. Nah. I want him to be the pilot. Now, I know the word co is there, but I, I need him to be leading the way. <laughs> Shout out to Grandma yeah. Joe <laughs> for the super chat all the way in Oregon. Oh, shout out to uh, Laura. You know, Thank you. <laughs> we really do appreciate y'all uh, blessing us. Um, you know, so if you don't get anything else on this live, please understand that you can have a lot of goals. You can have a lot of aspiration. Let me take this down. You can have a lot of goals. You can have a lot of aspirations. You can have a lot of dreams. You can have all the visions you want to, but please keep Christ in your Christianity. Keep Christ at the main, at the forefront of your heart. If you have any art with any brother or sister, get your stuff right with them. All right. Because we know time is short. Not every, not, every day is not guaranteed. So, I encourage anybody who's listening, anybody who's watching, anybody who watches the live stream back or the replay or whatever, seek God, seek him. All right. Don't everything doesn't have to make sense. And I love what Pastor F's talked about um, today, too. He's talked about this in the past, too. But, you know, and I say this all the time, everything that God does does not have to make sense to you. Everything that he does doesn't have to make sense to you. And if everything God did made sense to you, he would cease to be God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Think about it. Listen, there's simple things that we don't understand. But then we say, you know, I'm not going to follow God because I don't understand why he did X, Y, and Z. Wait a minute. You don't even know how to add. You don't even know algebra, bro. And we ain't talking about the we're talking about the grade school algebra. You don't even understand that. But but you want to know the but you the ways of the Lord, like you know, because the Bible says his ways are not our ways, his thoughts are not our thoughts. Trust and believe. That is the truth. He had he is so much higher than us, so much greater than us, that he's gonna do some things, and he's do he's gonna do some things this year. And you might shake your head and like, man, I just don't understand. Guess what? Trust him and continue to put your trust in him, even when you don't understand. But I think some of us, some of us may have fallen victim to doing Christian, Christian like things without actually being Christian and without spending time with the master, without reading our word, without praying with him. And the prayer is not a monologue. It's a dialogue, meaning you speak and he speaks back and you wait for him to speak back. 
so I encourage y'all if you don't do anything else if you leave anything out don't leave out God Amen. don't leave out God thank y'all for watching if you like to view the full live you can click the link at the bottom of this video and do us a favor we noticed that about 56% of y'all that watch our videos are not subscribed. So please consider hitting that subscribe button and smashing that bell. It costs you nothing. It means a whole lot to us. Anyways, we appreciate your time. Thank you for rocking with us. God bless y'all. Y'all take care.